to another fall decorate with me video this is part two in my fall decorating series i'm going to be decorating our kitchen and coffee station last week i decorated our living room and dining table area so if you missed it i will link it below i hope that you get some more decorating ideas for the fall season and enjoy I cleared everything from the countertops and island so I can wipe them down. I'm not doing a full deep clean or anything like that today. I'm just using the Mrs. Myers cleaner in the scent Acorn Spice and it makes our kitchen smell just like fall. I love the apple cider scent as well. Just anything that will make our kitchen smell like fall is my favorite. I laid everything I'll be using out on the dining table and I'll start in the kitchen and then the coffee station and I'm really trying to still tie everything together and have the decor flow well with the living room and dining table. Not everything has to be matching but overall I'm using those same neutral fall colors and lots of texture and warmth throughout all of our spaces. For this little corner, I set out a cookbook on that wooden stand and this picture with some florals. All of the decor that I'm using here I've had from previous years and I really love just finding new ways to style decor that I already have and just making it feel like it's new. I usually add wooden cutting boards on this side of the stove and then I'm going to add a textured planter that I got from Target over the summer as a crock for the wooden utensils and overall just keeping most of the decor on the kitchen countertops pretty simple. I wanted to add a little pop of color to this corner and figured I can use this dish towel under the fruit bowl. I love adding more warmth and texture in the fall, especially in the kitchen where it can sometimes be hard to, but some wood or rattan materials, even just those dish towels can really add that warmth and texture as well. And if you have a dough bowl or any pretty bowl really, just adding a few different style pumpkins in whatever colors match your decor is a really easy way to decorate for fall. I think the key is adding pumpkins that are different tones, shapes, and textures just to add more dimension and interest to your fall decor. And of course, it's still a kitchen, so keeping it functional with some fall touches works best for me when it comes to decorating. I'm also going to add some potpourri base filler that I got from Pottery Barn. And I think it is perfect for fall kitchen decor with the colors that it has and it's a dried citrus. And it smells amazing, so even if a candle is not burning, it still smells like fall in here. I got 
got these dish towels that I really love from Joann's. Sometimes I forget about that store, but they actually have really great seasonal decor. So definitely look there if you're still shopping. This wreath is from Amazon and such amazing quality for a pretty good price. I love the traditional fall colors and I think it really ties everything together well. For the island, I'm using some acorn stems in this picture. It really adds some height and a pretty color to the kitchen and then also adding the rest of that dried citrus face filler to a bowl and I really love how it turned out. This little pumpkin candle is from Target and I'll link it and everything that's available down below but if you do need a link that I miss, just let me know in the comments. I'm adding this basket with some pretty stems and a couple of pumpkins to the top of the fridge. I had some flowers in this basket for spring and summer and I really love how it looks so I thought it would be nice to also have something for fall. And I'm just adding those plastic bags to give everything height but once I put it on top of the fridge you won't be able to see them. And I just really love how it turned out. And the last thing I'm adding to the kitchen is this fall sign and then I'll move on to the coffee station. my coffee station set up on this bar cart and I love that I can decorate it seasonally and adding all those fun seasonal mugs is my favorite part. I recently found some seasonal harvest tea from World Market and I'm excited to drink them but they also come in such pretty packaging so they look great to display in a glass canister or jar as fall decor 
and even here on the coffee station I still try to incorporate those same neutral fall colors that I use in the kitchen and living room just to have everything blend well together And that's everything for the kitchen and coffee station fall decor. I hope that you got some ideas. Let me know if you guys are finished decorating or if you are still going. I have a few more fall decorating videos to come. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one.